It's Wednesday night at the Democratic National Convention. It's kind of all-star night at the Democratic National Convention. On the lineup tonight, President Obama, Vice President Biden, former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and, of course, Vice Presidential nominee Tim Kaine, the senator from Virginia. So a lot of star power all packed up for Democrats in one night. A couple of things that Democrats are hoping to achieve. One is to show we're a party in unity, bringing all these people together to speak uh, for Hillary Clinton and her candidacy. Another thing they're trying to show is that essentially there are people who can bridge the gap between the Hillary Clinton supporters and the Bernie Sanders supporters. We'll see if that's going to be the case or not. Key there will be the reception that Senator Kane gets because he's popular in the party center, not popular on the party's left. We'll see if the Sanders forces pull in behind him. Uh, one of the things they're trying to do is show a contrast with the Republicans last week in Cleveland, where a lot of big party figures, including the former presidents of the party, didn't show up to support Donald Trump. The implicit and I think eventually explicit message of the Democrats here will be, hey, our party is coming together. All of our leadership is coming together to support our nominee. That wasn't true in the other party. Here's the one downside for Democrats. The lineup tonight represents the Democratic Party establishment. This is an anti-insider, anti-establishment year. The Bernie Sanders army illustrates that and personifies that. We'll see how this establishment lineup goes down with the anti-establishment insurgents in the crowd behind me.